Today, we're starting the carnivore diet. This means we can only eat meats like beef, chicken, turkey, lamb, pork, any organ meats, fish, and eggs. And also, we decided to be a little lenient and we allowed taking daily vitamins and black coffee. But we'll be doing this for seven days. Sam's starting weight was 164 and my starting weight was 206. So let's see how this goes. This is our body before. We're breaking today's fast. Some beef chunk, traditional bacon, zero sugar, sliced barbecue chicken, sliced roast beef. 150 grams, what looks like 85, 15 ground beef for dinner mm, and some water. 150 grams of protein with zero carbs. 12 ounces of beef chunk, three slices of bacon, four eggs, and this was cooked all in butter and black coffee. Steak cooked in butter, air fryer going, same thing. This should be the next two to three days along with ground beef in the fridge. 12 ounces of beef chunk, three slices of bacon, four eggs. We got dinner, part two, a nice steak, cooked in just butter, pan seared. So this is this, pan seared, cooked in butter. Now here I went to Chili's, couldn't even touch any of the sides. I asked for them to be put on the side, but they didn't, was doing a lot of scraping. Now gym workouts. On this diet, you could definitely feel the difference between being on carbs and energy drinks if you choose compared to no carbs and having fat as your main energy source. On the weight training side, you definitely feel much weaker and you reach fatigue faster, but you sweat a lot less and energy is very consistent. With calisthenics, you feel much stronger given that we are much lighter by the day. We did lose a lot of water weight doing this, but we also lost a lot of fat. My family ordered some food, but my meal is just four nice juice see chicken chops can't have any rice tortilla no vegetables breakfast espresso before the gym all right dinner two steaks from yesterday that i cooked and water with some butter on top mm -mm -mm. here we got a nice fatty steak with four eggs sliced chicken and at this point i'm sick of meat I feel sick thinking about it. I had enough of it. I'm tired of the meat burps. I had enough of it. I wanted a snack, but of course it's meat. So we got some veal and pork sticks. We got some salmon, we got some eggs, we got some sliced roast beef. I also had boiled eggs for breakfast and three slices of bacon. Yeah. To eat. Breakfast. We got four eggs, terribly cooked because they got stuck to the pan. We got a multivitamin and we got black tea. All right, quick update. It's day four currently in, in the morning. I mean, sort of lunchtime. I didn't eat yet, but I ate the eggs earlier. But I woke up today and my middle finger is swollen. I think it's because of all the butter and the cholesterol from this diet after four days consecutively. The only other time I had my finger swell up like this was when I hit it on something and I haven't hit it on anything. I woke up and it was like this. So I think right now it's not looking too good. I don't know how many of the pros are outweighing the cons. I am down six pounds though from my previous, from last week, which is kind of crazy, six pounds. Um, I guess it's all, all the water weight and whatnot. But yeah, listen, we're gonna keep going. If any other health problems arise any other inflammation i'm gonna have to cut it short because i can't i can't risk this uh unhealthiness just because of this so let's see what happens as my blood pressure begins to rise i eat three lamb chops and one and three quarters filet salmon baked and air fried bah! this smells insane tuna two boiled eggs for lunch 12 o'clock on the site on the work site all right dinner two large salmon fillets and three lamb chops honestly there's nothing to get sick of this diet. The, like these foods, you don't get sick of these foods. More so, you get sick of the absence of other foods. That's more what it is. Like I could eat this every day, you know? It's not really an issue. But yeah, that and some water and we're all good. Pre-bed snack. <laughs> Tuna. Uh... Day six, at work, breakfast. Tuna, two eggs. Uh. Day six. Wow, wow, wow. Four large chicken thighs seasoned extremely well. Mm, mm, mm. Wish you could smell what's going on here. But day six, final dinner. I got to cut it short. There's a holiday tomorrow and I'm having a family dinner. But we'll see what Adrian will be having tomorrow instead. On day six, this is this. All right, folks. The final weigh-in at the end of the diet this morning is 157 Point four pounds from 165 to 157.4. Front, right. not flexing, side not flexing, back not flexing, not flexing. And a little bit of that flex on. Ooh. 
I'm about to eat some nuts, bro. <sighs> Booking season is upon us, folks. Ah, uh, never been this lean. One fifty seven. Crazy.